Welcome to a new video about electric circuits. This is our example about the resistive circuits where we discuss several variations like series, parallel and also series parallel configurations. And we work out numbers examples and work out the calculations for that step by step and also verify these in SPICE simulations. So our first part will be about the series resistive circuits. So let's look at our first example. Is this example? We have the following circuit given. You see three resistors. The values are shown here. And the question here is calculate the resistance between the nodes A and B or the terminals A and B. Now, since this is a series combination, you see actually one path, then the resistance, the solutions now in this case, since this is a series, is the RAB is just a summation of these resistors. So R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now when you now add these values, you get now exactly 75 ohms. It's really that simple. Now let's also look at the simulation results. This is the circuit drawn in the SPI simulator. You see here the ohm meter, we will measure then the resistance. You see here the resistors given here in this example. And you, indeed we have 75 ohms as calculated. So this is checked. Okay, let's now look at the example number two. Again, the similar circuit where we have now two resistors. So the R3 is unknown, but we know the resistance looking between the nodes A and B. So the terminals A and B is given as 100 ohms. So it could be a design problem, like I want to have a specific resistance. So calculate then the required resistor value here, in this case R3. So what we do in this case, again, the solution says that this is a series combination. And we can use again the same formula. And we know now this value, which is on RAB, and also these two, the first and the second term, but the R3 is unknown. So when you now substitute the values you have, you can calculate now R3 straightforward, and it will be then 15 ohms. So we need 15 ohms here, and it will then give us between these two terminals, A and B, one. So let's also look at the simulation result. This is now the ohmmeter again in the spy simulator circuit and you see here the R3 just calculated 15 ohms and also the others 25 and 60 ohms so it is indeed 100 ohms so that's checked okay looking at the second part which is purely parallel resistor circuits again first example you see here the A and B again the terminals and now two resistors and you can see they are in parallel because these two nodes actually also these two nodes so we can see that this and this resistor is parallel to each other the values are shown here again the same question calculate now the resistance between the nodes a and b or terminals a and b now since this is a parallel combination we need to use a different formula this is the direct formula to be you can use for two resistors in parallel which is then the product divided by the summation and it will give us now 10 times 15 divide by 10 plus 15 which is exactly 6 ohms but you can also use the more general formula which is 1 over the what you want which is then this resistance which is then 1 over the RAB is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 etc if you have more of course when this case we have only one or I mean two so we can now substitute the values we have 1 over 10 plus 1 over 15 now you can calculate now RAB it's really, really straightforward, you just calculate this part and then you do 1 over that part and you get now exactly also 6 ohms. Okay, now let's also look at the simulation result. This is again the circuit drawn in the SPI simulator. You see the 10 ohm and the 50 ohm and again the ohm meter. And you see indeed it is 6 ohms effectively. So this is also checked. Let's also now look at the second example which is a little bit more work or more complicated we have now three resistors this is this circuit and now we want to calculate now here the resistance in this case we cannot use this formula because it's only valid for two resistors so we go for this generic formula that is an actually this is a parallel so we can say one over rab is equal to one over r1 plus one over r2 plus one over r3 if you have of course a fourth and a fifth resistor you just go on and place 1 over R4, etc. So it doesn't matter how much you have in parallel. The uh, format is the same. Now let's also substitute the values here and then now also calculate this part, right part, which is now 0 0.16 exactly. So 1 over RAB is 0 0.16 and that will give us 6.25 ohms. 
Okay, now the simulation result also, this is again the circuit draw in the simulator. You see here indeed 6.25 ohms for these three resistors in parallel. So that's also checked. Okay, the final part, which is the series parallel. So the combination of actually the two parts we have discussed so far. And this is a little bit more complicated. The first example, we have now three resistors here, R1, R2, and R3. Again, we need to determine the resistance between these two terminals. How can we work this out? Now we can work it step by step. You can look at the solutions like so. You can say this part is actually a series combination, this branch, so R1 and R2. And we can just call it something. I just called Rx. And then we can say Rx is really R1 plus R2. We have discussed this in the series part. So it is then R1 plus R2. And we know it's 15 plus 25 is 40 ohm exactly. So effectively we have only one resistor here, which is 40 ohms. That is now parallel to this R3. So what you want is the resistance between A and B, but that is Rx parallel to R3, and that's shown here. And we have used this formula for two resistors in parallel directly. So we can say that 50, uh, 40, I mean, times 60 over 40 plus 60. And it will give us exactly 24 ohms. And that's actually the answer for this question. And let's also look at the simulation result. This is now the circuit for this example. You see R1, R2, and R3. And you see indeed the ohm meter between these two nodes will give us 24 ohms. So that's also checked. Okay, now the example number two for this combination circuit. Now a little bit more complicated. One of the, let's say, the uh, difficult one here in this set. You see five resistors, R1 up to R5. And again, we like to calculate the resistance between A and B, the nodes A and B. How can we work this out? Let's also look at the solutions here step by step. Now, first we start with this part because that is the first parallel part I recognize here. And I call this just RP for R parallel. Doesn't matter what you call it. Now, then you can use again the directly the formula of R3 times R4 divided by the summation. That's now shown here. Now we know the values. Just substitute that and then calculate that using your calculator or by, uh, by hand. And this is now 6 ohms. Okay. Now, again, now this 6 ohms here, which is now RP, is in series actually with this R2. And then I can call this a new value or new name, which is RS. And RS is then the series combination of RP and R2. Now, R2 I know, RP just calculated. Now, will be then 6 plus 24 will be then is 30. The next step, now I have now this complete branch, which is RS, complete from this node to that node. I have also R5 parallel to it. So I can say, let's make a new simplification. That is then this RM, which is actually a parallel combination of the RS and the R5. That's shown here again, the formula for two resistors in parallel, what we can use directly. Again, the 30, we just calculated 20 from this example, and that will give us exactly 12 ohms. We are almost done, because we know the complete resistance now from this node to that node, effectively, which is 12. We also know what the R1 is, which is 14. So that is actually R1 in series with this RM. And that's actually RAB, which is R1 plus RM, which is 14 plus 12, which is 26 ohms. And that's actually the answer to this question. Okay, let's also look at the simulation result. Again, this circuit drawn in the SPI simulator. See the resistors, all of them, and also the ohm meter between this node and that node, because this is the node A, this is node B. You see indeed, this 26 ohms, and that is verified. So we have now worked out several examples for series, parallel, and also series parallel configurations for resistive circuits purely. If you have any questions, comments about these examples, please step in the way. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you next time in another video. Take care.